rave offering all over this building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor, I'm expecting a miracle tonight. Hallelujah. I came with my mind made up for a blessing. Anybody want to be blessed in the house tonight? I lift your hands and praise the Lord. Come on, let me hear you shout a praise to the Lord. Let me hear you shout a praise to the Lord. What is his name? Jesus. Hallelujah. Turn to the neighbor beside you. Shake their hand. Give them a big smile. Welcome them to the final night of National Convention 2015. Come on, reach across to somebody else. Give them a big apostolic smile. Yes. Welcome them to the final night of the feast. Let them be seated. God rich and bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I greet. I greet all of God's wonderful people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have a final lap. And what an awesome time we had in the Lord last night and Monday night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it started off right on Sunday at Faith Chapel. I want somebody to know that, listen, you don't have to leave the same way you came tonight. Hallelujah. I was praying with a young man last night and said, and I understand that he has been seeking God for almost a year. And I said, brother, I was in your shoes several years ago. But then I came to a church one night and I made up in my mind I'm not going to leave the same way I came. Hallelujah. And guess what? God filled me with the Holy Ghost that night and I've never looked back. I want some unsaved that are visiting with us tonight to know that, listen, you don't have to leave the same way you came. There's a blessing with your name on it and all you've got to do is just open up your heart and receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Such a wonderful feeling to be in National Convention. We have behind us a host of honorable ministers and deacons. But I'm gonna ask at this time to just come and uh, greet all our visitors and saints alike, our pastor, Pastor Daly, in the name of the Lord. Let's put our hands together and receive him as he comes. Praise God, and can we praise the Lord, everybody? Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Put your hands together, this one is for the king himself, who is worthy to be praised. Amen. Jesus is his name. I greet the household of faith tonight in Jesus' name. I greet every visitor in the house tonight in the exalted name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he wonderful? Isn't our God worthy to be praised? Put your hands together one more time. Amen. As we let him know that we appreciate him in the house. Amen. I greet tonight again Bishop Dalbert Clark. I thank you, sir. Let's put our hands together for the Bishop who has come at relatively short notice and with a tight schedule. I greet Sister Clark, the wife of Bishop Clark. God bless you. You could just stand. We want to see you all around. That's Sister Clark coming all the way with him. They weren't coming from Cape, and I believe they were coming from England and came straight here. And we give God thanks for Bishop and Sister Clark for making it, amen, to be with us in our national convention. Isn't God good? Amen. We never spoke before. In all my life, I never spoke to him until a few weeks ago on the phone. And I braved it up. And in all my life. And he said, let's see how it goes. And I spoke with his 
wonderful secretary who was trying to protect him and she was doing her job and she said he might be busy because he's coming from England then he's going to be going on to Sri Lanka and some other things and yet he called back we spoke again and he said look I will be there and I did not know until last night in speaking with him that he cancelled three engagements, was it three, in England to fly out to be here on the day when we speak, cancel them. Faith Chapel, we are blessed. Praise God. And we want you to know, sir, we appreciate that. We want you to know, Sister Clark, we appreciate that. We say God bless you both. Praise God. I greet tonight Pastor Sammy. I greet tonight Pastor Joseph, and we said it last night that we will be hearing from them in a greeting tonight, and I'm going to be stepping off very shortly. I greet all our ministers on the platform, Pastor King, Pastor Richards, and all the other ministers. I call your name already on Monday. We appreciate you. I appreciate you, and I thank you for the great work that you've all been doing. Put our hands together, saints of the Most High God, for all of our leaders, our ministers. Praise God. Pastor Grizzle, I greet you tonight in Jesus' name. I did not expect to see Pastor Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I believe... That if we continue tomorrow and Friday, Pastor would, have, would be here. My God, when God decides to strengthen us for the job and for the occasion, he will. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Put our hands together for the Lord for strengthening Pastor Grizzle and allowing him to be with us right through our convention. Sister Grizzle, I welcome you in the house tonight. And we salute you for the great work that you're doing. And you're always faithful to the house of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Real good. Amen. I greet Sister Daly. And we appreciate you and all the work that you're doing. And we say God bless you too. Real good. Let's put our hands together. One more time, saints. This one is for all the visitors in the house. I am unable to determine and distinguish between the different assemblies that are here, but I say to all the visiting friends, whether from like precious faith, you're just a visitor from the community, I say God bless you much. It is good to have you in the house tonight, and we bless God for your taking the time out to come and to join with us. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. I want to hand over just to allow pastor to say a quick word. But you're here and you're a visitor from the community. We, 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 it's the last night. And I don't think we should just hand over. Let's just stick your hand up if you're a visitor. I see you. I see. Stick your hand up. Yes. God bless. No, praise God. Saints of God, put your hands together for all the visitors in the house. Whether from like precious faith, as I said before, or just from around the community. Amen. We welcome you. Here's what we are going to do. You, you, you know that, that old song, Brother Carlton, that says, My mind's made up and I won't turn back. I want to see Jesus someday. Well, we're going to sing it. And we're not just going to sing it, we're going to declare it. And we're going to allow them to ask us, what is it that you're singing? Did you know, saints of the Most High God, that up to last night, 21 precious souls were filled with the Holy Ghost and fire? I said, my mind is made up. 21. And I don't know why I feel that we have not caught every body but those that we caught 21 up to last night filled with the holy ghost and fire and my god 16 went down in water in jesus name 
Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You had some folks that used to be in church and them walk away, and four of them come back and say, we're not going back out there again. <laughs> hallelujah to God. So here is what we, I'm telling you. God is up to something. It's just the start. The Lord spoke to my heart last night and said, when we are out of here, we are coming back. Not in here right now, but we are going to be right around it. We started 10 Crusade a few years ago, not far from here. Oh, we started in Arnett Gardens, but then shortly after, we were at Mountain View. It fell into my heart that we are coming back into this area with the big gospel tent. And I believe God is going to continue to do a work in the areas around. And we are going to take this area for Jesus in Jesus name let me ask the saints to stand and every saint at the front you need to reach to the back and those at the back you need to come to the front we just want to fellowship and glorify God we want those who are unsaved to understand when we say my mind is made up they know what we are talking about I want us to declare it God is a good God and when I saw some of the folks that were pre reaching out last night and one lady on her back just speaking in tongues and I don't know who she is or where she was from but the truth is God is doing a work you have some folks as the preacher said that were gunmen and they just walk in and walk out a brand new man it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what sin you have committed it doesn't matter which house you are from Jesus saved from the uttermost, I heard a preacher say, to the guttermost. This is the God that we serve. Is your mind made up? Is your mind made up? Is your mind made up, choir? Is your mind made up over there? My mind's made up. Won't turn back. I've got my mind made up. Leave your seat. And I won't Greet somebody. Turn back. In Jesus' I name. Want
mansions are prepared for me. Glory be to God. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord as I take my seat. We just want to remember and to acknowledge those team members from the Independence Park Limited. They are the persons that take care of the place for us so that we can come and sit on the clean benches and have all the facilities around to enjoy and to worship the Lord. Can we put our hands together, saints of the Most High God, for all the team members, those that work right in here from Independence Park, so that we can be comfortable as we worship the Lord. Bless you, team members, and we appreciate the great work that you are doing to accommodate us so that we can enjoy the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Praise God. At this time, we want to invite firstly, I greet Elder Roe coming to us again. He has been with us every single day. Amen. In our conference. God bless you, sir. We appreciate you. We appreciate the brethren from Bethel Apostolic. And we say God bless you and God bless them in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Sammy, and you know the story well. Can't say it again, but we ask Pastor Sammy to come and to greet this congregation and in probably two minutes or so, in his simple way, just indicate to us the great things that the Lord is doing, amen, over there in Kenya and in the surrounding countries, namely Tanzania and Uganda. Pastor Sammy, followed by Pastor Joseph. Come we glorify the Lord together for the great things that he's doing over that side. God bless you. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I'm so happy to be here tonight. I want to thank everyone for coming and I appreciate the man of God, Pastor Daly, for all that is happening here, that God has used him in a very special way to organize all these things. And I thank God for that. Um, you have heard that we have come all the way from Africa, and uh, uh, my country is Kenya. Uh, my capital is Nairobi. I'm Pastor Samuel Asonga, and I'm uh, married to Beatrice, and have uh, I'm blessed with three boys. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank God because this being the final day of this con uh, convention, uh, God has opened a way that I may speak something about Africa. I want to let you know that Africa is a big continent. And my land, Kenya, we has been there since we were born and never come out until we have come into this conference. We appreciate very, very much to be here. Last year, something happened. God gave a vision to the minister of faith apostolic church and that vision was so great that it moved him he didn't even know who are we in Africa but God had seen who we are there are some people who gave us the truth many many years ago but we were abandoned like little babies we didn't know where to go or where to turn to until God gave a vision for this church to come over to Africa. And the team came, about 17 of them, and we had a meeting, and I brought together all the churches and all Trinitarian churches together, and the message went on until they baptized the Trinity pastors, and in that time, just in a, a period of two weeks, 
they baptized many, many in our land. And then we ask ourselves, we doesn't know who are these Jamaicans, where they have come from, and the reason of their coming. But because they have come in the name of the Lord, and so we accept them. And then from that day, things changed. We went together with Pastor Daly, together with his team, to another place we call Voy. And there, they preached in a congregation of Trinitarian pastors and bishops. And all of them came in the altars for prayers. From that day, as the leader of our churches in Africa, Pastor Daly said, I'm leaving all these contacts in your hands. Make sure that you follow up these Trinitarians. Pastor, I followed all of them. I baptized Pastor Nzai in Jesus' name. He was an Anglican priest. I baptized him and his wife and his whole congregation in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You also left me, the people in Mombasa. I went to the coastal region, baptized pastor, and baptized all the members in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. There are also many others that you connected me to because I had not seen them, but you had seen them in the vision. But after delivering them into my hands, God gave me strength and the anointing that you had also because I said, God, I need this. I need what they have. And from that day, my life also has changed completely changed. Pastor, I'm giving you a report to tell you that we have a great church in Nairobi which works like our headquarters. We also have another church in a place we call Thika and that is where Pastor Joseph is a pastor. We also have another church in Earth River where also I baptized this Trinitarian pastor in the name of Jesus. He's now oneness. And the other churches in Kayole, all of them are now in Jesus' name. We also have the other branch in Kangemi, another branch in a place we call Gashie, and another branch that I baptized pastor. He was a Muslim for a long time, but he decided and I baptize him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Pastor, after giving me the, the pastor from Coast Region, I went ahead and got another pastor by the name Joseph. I baptized Joseph before we came in Matthew in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is now together with all his people. They are working together and they are amongst us in faith apostolic ministries. <laughs> After that, in coastal region, before we came, we also received three churches. And these three churches are from uh, this pastor from Mali Malindi. Malindi is far from, uh, just, just in the coastal region. And all has complied. And also, at Voy Django, we have a jungle church whereby when you pass through the jungle, you see elephants, you see lions, you see all those kind of animals. And we pass through together with Pastor Joseph, believing that God will take us through the other side. And there we were able to get a pastor together with his whole congregation in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, also we have another fast-growing church from uh, the church in Liftivari. This church, it began just as a small congregation. We went there first time with Pastor Joseph. We baptized about 23 souls in the name of Jesus. Then after some few days, we returned there. We baptized 47. Then after some few days, we returned there. We baptized 36. 
and the membership was growing and growing and because they had no enough space to keep people right now as i'm talking stand here the membership has gone to 400 souls that are baptized in the name of the lord jesus christ this church has given birth to another church that is in molo town that's a, a, another town just near them they have also given birth to another branch which is in a place we call Kabianga just in, in Kenya and not to mention we also focused our attention to where our president comes from. We went to central Kenya and some few days before we left this is the church where uh, when Pastor Joseph was baptizing fish were eating him. <laughs> It is church in Moya. I baptized 17 leaders in this church, and Pastor Joseph the same day baptized 47 members of this church in Moya. So that Moya, that Moya church has other two branches, and they are all come together, and they are together with us in farm. Now, Pastor, uh, we has been going around Africa, uh, and in Africa, we have our neighboring country, which is Tanzania. In Tanzania, we went there before, and we had great meetings. Tanzanians, many of them believe in witchcraft, and when they see somebody of uh, someone who has a color problem, or I mean, I don't know how to put it but we call them albinos in our country. They kill them, they divide the, the, the flesh, and they go for witchcraft because they believe that they are going to get a lot of gold when they do that. By that time, many people have been killed. And so we went there with Pastor Joseph, and we went to preach there. We had a meeting of one full week, and we did a lot of work there as the Lord leaders. Leaving Tanzania, we already now have about 12 faith apostolic ministries churches that are born in Tanzania. Amen. Now, I finish with Uganda, Pastor, where I brought Pastor from, Tanz uh, from Uganda, you saw him. I brought Pastor from Tanzania, you saw him. So the pastor in Uganda, his pastor Godwin, he's now ranging to a membership of about 100. He is in western Uganda. And now in Uganda, we have now two branches that are growing very, very, very well. I finish by saying, Kenya is a country in East Africa. And our country borders Tanzania, on south and Uganda to the west and also our neighbors which are people from Somari. Somari is a breeding place of terrorism. And I'm here to tell you today that in Kenya we needed what you have. I am appealing to the church in Jamaica, do not forget us. Pray for us. We have been keen since we came here, taking all that we see happening here. And I was talking to our sister yesterday. She's a politician, and she works with, uh, with, uh, with a group of women in the country. They are able to talk to the first lady, and they can organize meetings. So I was asking her, when we have our meeting next year, are you going to tell all the Kenya women to come? She said, I'm going to organize that when that time comes. So I'm here to tell you, Pastor Daly, come over to us next year because we are going to have a meeting like this in Nairobi in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I finish by saying that in this 2015, Kenya has estimate of 47.8 million people. 
47.8 million people. It is only few of us that have the truth. It is only a few of us. So I'm asking church, Jamaica, they are just few people. But you hold world, world record of a lot of things. I'm asking you, you still hold the world record of prayers. Pray for us. We need you more than ever. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much. I was not asked to preach. I was just asked to give a report of what is happening in Africa. God is good all the time. God bless you. Thank you. ashamed of this gospel hallelujah I'm not in a strange land amen I am here for a reason and for a purpose to represent Jesus hallelujah I'm a warrior I'm a jungle man but full of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. Pythons fears me. Lions tremble because I carry the lion of tribe of Judah in me. Hallelujah. And Pastor Derry, I'm ready to roar in Africa with apostolic truth. Hallelujah. I want to thank you all. Because for me to be here, it has taken God. I never dreamed of being somewhere like here. But I know my gift that God has put in my life will always make a way for me. Yes. Hallelujah. Being born in a poor family, Hopeless family. Hallelujah. My father and my mom died a long time ago. And they gave me nothing. But my dad tells me one day. My beloved son, we are born 12 in our family. I'm the 11th one. And he told me, my son, like the family of Jacob, you are the 11th son and your name is Joseph. And I told my dad and my mom, just sacrificed me, sold me to the Egypt to serve God. And when you die, I'll continue to do the work of the Lord. And my dad bring me a Bible. And he told me, I might left you with nothing or no land, but the Bible has everything that you need. Eat from the Bible. Wear from the Bible. Preach everything from the Bible. The Bible is all that I have. And you have only God left in your life. I want to tell you, Jamaicans, you have all what you need. Praise the name of Jesus. As Pastor Sami have said, Pastor Dere, I want to thank you with your wife and the team that came to Africa. 
You know, when Pastor Sami told me you are coming, 17 people, I told him, Pastor, are you crazy? 17 people? To host 17 people from Jamaica? And I told him, but we are going to do it in Jesus' name. And when they come, because we had hosted many people, and I told him, Pastor, I don't need any headache now. I need people who are grounded in the work. People who are prayerful that we may do the work in Africa. And the first time you were alive, Pastor, I was just like investigator. <laughs> Amen. Whether you have come to colonize us again. <laughs> but when I prayed and I saw what you're presenting there, I told Pastor Sami, these are the right people to work with. And I remember telling you, Pastor Dele, for a person to fight his queen, he kisses a lot of frogs. And I told Pastor Dele, I know you are our queen now. And we are going to work together to preach the gospel in Africa. In East Africa, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania, we have 32 churches for now as we speak. 32 churches as we speak. We have baptized them. They know the truth. They are apostolic oneness. Hallelujah. They are baptized in Jesus' name in much water. Hallelujah. And we are doing good in that work. But I want to tell you one thing. All those churches, the challenge that we have, and maybe, Pastor, Bishop, you have the crew of what is Africa is like. The challenge the church has, that's why the truth is not leeching many people, is that these apostolic, true, oneness, gospel preaching churches, they don't own even a land to build the church. Every church, that two church that we have, we are leasing the plot. We are renting small halls. We are congested in one place. We are paying a lot of land to the leasers of the land and the, and the house owners that making the church not to grow. That's hindering the preaching of this oneness gospel. We have the truth, yes. We have the burden. We have the urge and the morale to do it. But sometimes we are pressed. Sometimes we struggle. Like me and Pastor Sami, sometimes we cry. All these 32 churches, we don't have a vehicle to reach them. I remember traveling from Kenya to Uganda. It took two days, three days on a public bus. When we reached there, we were tired. We couldn't even preach. So our brothers and our sister, your homeland, Kenya, the church needs you. The church want you to stand with it and let me tell you africa as you read the history bishop long you see that kenya kenya will be the source of revival in africa kenya is the hand of the lion 
If you read the history of that, where the revival will start, any person who wants to reach Africa must land in Kenya. Pray for us. Stand with us. And God is going to bless. And this gospel shall be preached in the whole Africa. 48 million people are waiting to hear this truth. We welcome you, everybody who can be able to come to Africa. We are ready to host you. We are ready to take you to the jungle and preach to those souls. I believe as we talk of the rapture, as we talk of the coming of Jesus Christ, the Bible says before he comes, this gospel must be preached to the whole people. Then he comes. God bless you. God be with you. Don't forget Africa. Don't forget you have brothers and sisters and many souls that need this truth. My dad died without the truth. My mother died without the truth. And I cannot watch people dying without the truth. Everybody, everybody, we're to stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Ministers, I want you to just right now, I want you all to just gather around our two Kenyan brothers, representative. And I want every saint of the most high God, I want you to just stretch your hand to the to the to the podium right now as the ministers lay hands and pray for our Kenyan brothers. We're gonna be praying right now. We're gonna be leaving God. Stretch your hand from the balcony. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Musicians, I believe, can you just raise a song for me? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Zana in the eye. Stretch your hand to the altars and ministers pray.
world that has started in Africa. Through the faith of a few, it's going to spread to millions of people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That which has started in the hearts of a few, we pray tonight and reach millions for the gospel. All over Kenya. All of these surrounding Hallelujah areas around Kenya. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Let me hear somebody praise the Lord. If you believe that, praise the Lord. Come on, if you believe in God for the work in Kenya, lift your hands up, praise the Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God. We invite the choral to come in a short while. We invite the ushers to come. We're going to be collecting the offering, and as the offering is collected, we invite the faith chapel choral to just come and do this. Deacon Andrew Martin to just come and let us pray. God blessing on the offering. Hallelujah. Great God, we love you. We magnify your name for you're worthy to be praised. There's no like unto you. There's none to be compared to you. From the rising of the sun to the going on of the very same, your name is to be praised. We thank you, God, tonight that we are in your presence, God. And as we're about to collect an offering, I pray, God, that you'll bless, God, those that have to give. And those that don't have to give, that you'll bless them, too. That the next time, God, that they, too, will have to give. God, we give you thanks for what you are doing, even now in our midst. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Can we bless the Lord tonight, everyone? There's an awesome presence of the Lord in this place. And we're just going to worship Him. We're just going to adore Him for who He is. Can we just love Him tonight? Can we just adore Him tonight? Worship with us as we minister in song.
Jesus. Lord, you're worthy to be praised, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus.
everybody to just stand at this time. Keep sending out the praise to him. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. the presence of the Lord in the house. Hallelujah. We really appreciate the Holy Ghost being in this place. We thank God for what he has been doing since Sunday. We say to God be the glory great things he has done. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody, somebody worship him just a little bit more. Hallelujah. Somebody worship him just a little bit more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, mighty God, we worship you, we honor you tonight, hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord, without any further delay, we invite at this time to come to minister the words of the Lord in this last night of our convention. We need not do any introduction cause, because we know the preacher already. Brothers and sisters, please welcome to the podium to minister the words of the living God. Bishop Dalbert Clark and the Holy Ghost. Receive him, saints of the Most High God, in Jesus' name. Come on, lift your hands. Everybody. To the King great I am the king of kings the lord of lords the mighty conquering lion of the tribe of Judah hallelujah Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet, if you have any. Amen. And just lift your hands, just throw them in the air. Amen. Just let the king be the center of this gathering tonight. Hallelujah. Let the king be the center of this gathering tonight. He is the supreme king of all kings. Hallelujah. Raise your hands and say something to him right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is Lord. 
let me hear the sound of the musicians as well as you everything that hath breath ought to praise the Lord amen just stay in your rightful place and make the Lord feel your praise and feel your worship tonight all over this auditorium in this arena he's begging for praise he's begging for praise he's begging for praise he's begging for the praises of the saints I feel that yes yes the master said praise me that's what he said yes Give him the praise. Open your mouth and give him the praise. He is the one to get the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the one to get the praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Somebody clap your hands and open your mouth like you know that you know that you know that He is Lord to the glory of God. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Deserves the praises of every breathing thing, every breathing creature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a need for more praise. He's still begging you another inch of your praise. Come on, give him something more. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. He is, he is, he is. He is, he is. Hallelujah. Glory. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, that's what he said. He said to praise him. He said to praise him. He said to praise him. in the presence of the Lord you may be seated in the presence of the Lord hallelujah his presence is here 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 his presence is in the house his presence is in the house hallelujah my God let me take the time out to honor the Spirit of God that is very much present in this arena tonight. I honor this rich, strong presence, the Spirit of the Lord, into your under 
shepherds, amen, the angels of this uh, part of the ministry, Reverend Grizzle and his dear wife, First Lady, amen, God bless, God bless them. It is indeed a pleasure to see what the Lord has done and is doing in the life of your father, amen. Reverend Grizzle, God bless you, sir, and may his rich presence ever rest within your spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Reverend Daly and his wife, amen, and family, may the Lord richly bless you, sir. Amen. May his hands continue to be upon you. Out of Kenya, the motherland pastor, Sammy, Pastor Joseph, amen. We bless God for them tonight. Amen. God is a good God. Seem to have my armor bearer here. Amen. Minister Jones and uh, Minister Shivans. They were in the Cayman Islands for quite some time. Amen. God bless them. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. It's good to see them uh, tonight. Praise God. To all the members of the clergy that are present sitting on the platform at this time amen i do salute you amen pastors and bishops and overseers and evangelists and uh, leaders in general i salute you in the name of the lord jesus christ to uh, the beautiful choiristers who have sung so beautifully well amen tonight may the lord richly uh, bless them. Praise God. God bless our mother, Rita. Amen to the musicians, the technicians, the multimedia personnels, and to all uh, the saints of like precious faith. God bless you, Brother Paul Price. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. My eyes are working. Amen. It's such a thrill to see everyone who have come to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in this a uh, place tonight praise god we have my wife is here with me amen and from the cayman islands uh, there is a, a small group praise the name of the lord uh we have pastor clayton amen who have come with us amen praise the lord evangelist henry evangelist lorna henry and god bless missionary bailey who is just living beyond uh, just a few blocks down here who spent many years Amen with us in the Cayman Islands. Uh, and I do believe that we have a lot of folks, amen, here, that if I should call all the names, it would really give me some problems and give you some problems too, amen. But to all the shouters and leaders and overseers and bishops and pastors and clappers and runners and doubters and supervisors and organizers and deputizers, and to everyone who have made yourself available, to be in the midst and in the presence of God, may God reach to bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. To our unsaved friends that are here, they are, uh, I think, the specialty in the meeting in this convention. Let me ask my unsaved friends just to raise your hands. Come on, don't be afraid to raise your hands. If you're here as unsaved friends, you're close to them, just slip your hands in theirs and give them a shake hand. We, we, we do have these meetings mainly because of our unsaved friends for the backsliders praise god for jesus didn't come to call christians he came to call druggists and pimps and homosexuals and lesbians and murderers and thieves and you name the rest amen they are the special persons for these service praise god hallelujah we love you we hate the sin but we love you you need to know that tonight praise god i'd love for you at this time to take a stand on your feet Grab your Bible, split them open, don't tear them, and let's go from the book of Daniel. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to ask you, Mr. Engineer, to make my monitors as hot as fire. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I hear the house down there, but I, I wanted to trouble my ears up here tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Put your hands together again for our technicians and multimedia personnel come on put your hands together for them you don't ignore these people they are very very special people in these services the book of daniel chapter daniel chapter i think it's chapter 11 
praise God. Verses 40 through 45, just uh, six, maybe seven verses. We're going to read it. Amen. The book of Daniel. Hallelujah. What a great convention this is. Amen. My God, my God. Somebody need to be thanking God for this convention. Praise God. Verse 40 of Daniel chapter 11. Let's read in concert. When you find it, say amen. When you find it, say amen. Hallelujah. And at the time of the end, shall the king of the south push at him. And the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over praise the lord verse 41 he shall enter also into the glorious land and many countries shall be overthrown but these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom. Everybody say Edom. And Moab and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries. And the land of Egypt shall not escape. But. He shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver and over all the precious things of Egypt and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. Verse 44, everybody together now. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore, he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make, to take away many. And he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountains. Yet he shall come to his end and none shall help him everybody shout and none shall help him i'd like to ask that you stretch your right hand in this direction tonight stretch your right hand in this direction and as you do so i want you to ask the lord to give us a direct word from home because we believe that God is here tonight and we want to feel his presence. The Apostle Paul, he was the greatest preacher. He was the greatest apostles, apostle of the apostles. But he would never ever preach until he begged the saints to pray for unction from on high. Come on, somebody. And so right now I'm asking that you stretch your hand in this direction and ask the Lord to fire us up to hear from him that we be blessed. Father, we thank you so much for cleaning us up right now. We thank you for inspiring us right now in the name of Jesus. Send your mighty guardian angels, your ministering angels, to flood this arena tonight. Let your Holy Spirit show up in this place. You must get some glory out of this gathering tonight. Father, it is you why we're here. Your credit is good with us. We ask that you shut down principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Glory to God. Let your rich anointing, hallelujah, flow through this place. Let every demon's assigned to this meeting 
begin to see the flow of the blood of Jesus. Let your blood like Niagara Falls flow in this place right now. Hallelujah. Blood up every element in this place. Let your name be glorified. And Father, we thank you. Your credit is good with us. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Shake two persons' hands and tell them, neighbor, I'm glad you're here tonight. Hallelujah. You're in the right place at the right time for your miracle. Come on, put your Bibles down, turn and talk to somebody. Amen. That's how we begin preaching here tonight. Amen. I want you to take off your religious faces at this time and put them in your pockets and put them in your purse. You might need them tomorrow when the enemy attack you. We want to be real in here. Grab two persons by the hand and talk to them. Look them in the eyeball and tell them, neighbor, you, if you're afraid of the eyeballs, look in the forehead. If you're afraid of the eyeballs, look in the forehead. Neighbor, you are in the right place at the right time for your miracle. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Sister Clark and myself, we are so thrilled, amen, to be here tonight. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. It was very sacrificial. Amen. Get me here. But we, by God's grace, we ended up here. Praise the name of the Lord. And what a joy it is to meet uh, uh, your pastor and the beautiful saints of this uh, ministry. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. We salute, oh, praise the name of the Lord, God for what he is doing in this area. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Jesus is coming soon. Therefore, we have got to get ourselves ready for the final takeoff. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I'd like to use for a theme or a topic, if I should use one tonight, uh, the clock is winding down. The clock is winding down. If you want a better subject, time clock is ticking the hour it's midnight oh praise the name of the lord we are living in a serious time folks you can't afford to come to church to waste time we have got to listen to the things that are taking place around us when we listen what we hear what we see we have no doubt that something is about to happen. You have chose for your theme in this convocation, end time. And I believe there could be no better subject to use than end time. Oh, praise.